Hey guys, Louis here. Uh, for Gaming Watch PH, playing Elite Dangerous. Now I'm gonna be doing a uh, series of guides for uh, Elite Dangerous, uh, specifically for those who are uh, new players. Uh, this guide is actually gonna be targeted for my friends who are slowly but surely being converted to play Elite Dangerous. Alright, so uh, if you stumbled upon this uh, by searching or just by uh, being subscribed to Gaming Watch PH, if you're interested in Elite Dangerous, you could also benefit from this tutorial. Alright, so we're gonna start off by tackling the one of the most daunting things for a new player in Elite Dangerous, uh, and that would actually be setting up your controls so first things first you need to uh, uh, you can configure your controls in the options menu you can do this while you're also in game you don't have to do this while you're in the main menu screen but uh, basically yeah this show you give you an idea there's a lot of different types of controls so you can see while this is daunting and each each one of these has its own little sub menu so on and so forth so we're gonna be tackling the critical controls setup. Uh, when I say critical, these are the bare minimum things that I think you would need to set up for you to be able to play Elite Dangerous properly. Alright, so uh, we are now outside of the uh, space station. And... Um, we're gonna be discussing the different controls. Sorry, I accidentally pressed that. Um, so, the first set of controls that you will need to configure would actually be your uh, spaceship's uh, movement controls. So, there are actually a total of four controls that you're gonna need to uh, calibrate to move your spaceship. That would be the uh, Three axes of controls plus your throttle. You know, your three axes of controls is, for those of you who are familiar with flight simulators would know this, uh, it would actually be pitch, roll, yaw. Okay, so what is pitch? Pitch is best described as where the nose of your spaceship is pointing up or down. So, let's see, if I pitch up, my spaceship points up. If I pitch down, spaceship points the nose of my spaceship points down uh, next would actually be roll roll is think of it as like rotating your ship uh, in a circle so like, this is the roll control see roll left there we go roll right and there we go lastly would actually be the yaw Yaw is also the tur this more like a turning of the ship. If roll is the rotation of your ship, like so, yaw is more of like the turning of your ship. Like so, if I turn to the left, turn to the right, okay, and then you have your thrust, which is what moves you forward or backwards. So, you increase thrust forward, start moving forward. Increase thrust, stop. If you increase thrust in reverse, you go back, you stop. If you go to zero, you stop. Okay, so where do All you right. configure so, that? To configure the three axis and thrust, you have to go to your options, uh, controls. And then you look for something that says flight rotation, right? So here you can see uh, the axis controls. Now you have a lot of different options for that for your axis controls. This depends if you're using keyboard and mouse or if you're using a joystick. Now personally, I would prefer using a joystick. I tried doing it with a mouse and keyboard, just didn't feel the same. Um, controls didn't feel as uh, tight it's a little clunky let's leave it at that 
but if you don't have a uh, joystick and you don't have the money to buy a joystick then yeah you're gonna have to stick with the keyboard and mouse configuration but for this one i'm gonna show you how to calibrate it with your joystick so uh this will depend on the type of joystick you have the joystick that i have is the logitech um, extreme 3d pro so that comes with uh controls already for the pitch roll yaw and it even has its own uh, little uh, thruster uh thrust control uh knob so you can uh, bind the thrusters there so basically uh, you start your controls by uh, looking for the axis that you want to control which i already discussed so what you do there is for example i want to set up my pitch axis you click on the pitch axis and it'll ask you to move the axis again this is for joystick this just means that you have to move your joystick now to make it find that axis so bound it to that axis when i move my joystick back it bound it to the uh, up and down movement of my joystick okay now for the roll do the same thing there for the yaw, my the my joystick has a twist on can be twisted to control the yaw. So there, it's easy as doing that to uh, to bind it. Throttle. Uh, we'll get into thrust in a different uh, a little bit later. Throttle is what I'm trying to say. Okay. So the same thing. You click on it and then you move your throttle up and down. You've got it now. Um. Here's where things get a little uh, uh, complicated. You saw me move my ship forward and then backwards. Okay. Now, there are different ways to achieve that. The default is when you go to your controls, is you're going to see this in full range. What full range means is your uh, throttle is basically going to be divided into half. The middle of it is going to be the stop forward will be your maximum forward thrust and then if you pull back to the maximum it's going to be reverse now if you prefer that kind of control sure that 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 works for you but personally i prefer to keep it at forward only what forward only does is uh the full range of your uh throttle control is just that it's going to move it forward you if you if you slide your throttle all the way back you're gonna stop if you slide your throttle all the way forward you're gonna go maximum speed forward now to be able to reverse if you're gonna do the forward only uh control scheme you have to assign a button either on your joystick or in your keyboard to act as a throttle reverse only so what does this mean this means that uh when your throttle is pushed all the way forward, you're gonna move forward. But when you push this button, your th uh, your ship is now going to decelerate to zero and then slowly accelerate backwards. Then if you let go of the button, it's gonna move forward. It's gonna move forward again. Um, now the button mode, uh, this will determine how your reverse behaves. So. What I described a while ago was if it was on hold. That means I have to keep holding the button to make me go backwards. If I let go of the button and there's uh, any thrust set up on my uh, throttle, it's going to then move my ship forward. Right? The other option is you toggle. Basically what this means is I, I tap the button once, I'm going to go reverse. I tap it again, I'm going to go forward. Okay? Personally, I prefer to leave it at the hold button option okay all right the next control that you're gonna want to have access to would be your fsd drive activation and deactivation now fsd drive is your frame shift drive it's how you travel faster than light in the game um this is handy to have uh it's handy to know because when you're traveling between uh, uh planets space stations and even stars you're going to need to activate your frame shift drive unless you want to spend real-time years just using your normal uh throttle to get from one point of from one point of a solar system to the other ah okay so you find it in flight 
miscellaneous. Okay, there it is. Toggle frame shift drive. So you tap it, you go into frame shift drive, you tap it again, you go out of frame shift drive. Okay. Uh, the other one that you might want to uh, uh, learn what to uh, configure in your setup is the engine boost. This is useful when you're trying to uh, get a little bit extra speed uh, when you're trying to get away from a, another spaceship that's attacking you or you're trying to increase your speed so you can maneuver behind the spaceship that you are attacking but yeah engine boost is another thing that you would like to be able to next thing is you're going to want to calibrate your interface mode okay so what does this interface mode mean okay. let's go back to the game so i can show you now you can see here my character is looking the pilot is looking straight ahead now you got a pretty good heads up display here you got a lot of information useful information already most important information is already there but there are some sometimes you need to access uh, certain interfaces in your ship now these are located to the left and to the right of your character uh, obviously you can't see it because you can't turn around you can't physically turn around. If you're wearing a VR headset, I believe you could actually turn your head to the left and to the right and you'd be able to see the, the interfaces. But without a VR headset, you have two options. You can either, cal you can either set up a look, uh, look control scheme. So that means that the character physically looks. See? Character physically looks. And then the con there, see, and then the setup controls actually start to come out. Okay. And then the other option is for you to bind the interfaces to different buttons. So, for example, I want to look at this interface and access it. Instead of making, instead of having to physically look there, I can just bind it to a button and automatically character looks there and focuses on it and I can already start interacting with it okay so same thing for the right same thing for the right same thing for the central hub and for my communications Oops. okay so yeah so for you to be able to bind that you actually have to go to find it in the first try uh, mode switches there we go okay so ignore the uh, UI focus and the UI focus mode you don't need that so what you'd want to calibrate is actually the target panel the comms panel the sensor panel and the systems panel okay so the target panel that's the panel to your left uh, this allows you to switch your navigational targets uh, target the subsystems of the ships you're targeting and even uh, interact with the with the targets that you that you have the comms panel is actually just the chat box so you press that so you can access the chat box uh, this is also where uh, party invites come from in uh, elite dangerous they're called wing invites so it's where you can access your wing invites to accept and uh, or decline uh, this is also where you get updates on the missions you take uh, and occasionally you'll you'll read some npc chatter like uh you'd actually be fighting a uh, an npc and the npc would be sending you uh Com communication taunts through through that com channel through that uh, chat box. It's, uh, it's pretty interesting. Okay, so once you've set those up, uh, the next thing you need to do is you need to set up your interface controls. So what does that mean? So while I'm looking at this, you'll notice that I am able to navigate the menu and switch tabs, so on and so forth. Okay, same thing for the other one. I can switch tabs, interact with the interface. Okay, now you need to set up 
which buttons you will be able which buttons will control your interface uh, at your con control of the interface when you are looking at that interface the neat thing about elite dangerous is that uh, the same controls that you would have for normal flight you can remap it for your interface controls all right so uh, what do you mean what do we mean my joystick has an eight button toggle uh, has an eight direction uh, pad on top of it so I can move I can move the pads up down left right so right now uh, I'm not in the interface mode I'm out in uh, open space I have bound these to my thrusters which again we will discuss later but basically thrusters allow me to push my ship towards a certain direction so for example my left thrusts me to the left, my right thrusts me to the right, okay? Now, using the exact same 8-direction uh, button, if I look at the interface, I was able to map it to my navig to my uh, to navigate the menu. So it goes up, down, left, right on the menu, okay? And then my trigger button, which normally fires my, my weapons, uh, is mapped to my uh, select uh, when I go to the menu it's mapped to select selecting options so I pulled my trigger and I'm able to select I push the second uh, trigger button on my uh, joystick and it uh, access back so I was able to map it that way okay for you to be able to map that you need to once again go to options controls and then you go to interface okay. so uh, you can reuse the, the the key takeaway here is you can reuse the some of the buttons that you've already allocated provided that you allocate it to your interface provided that you use them for uh, controlling your your interface okay Uh, the next set of controls we're going to be discussing would actually be, uh, I've shown them already a while ago, that would be the flight thrust. So I already discussed that thrust is, a, thrust is a way of pushing your ship towards a certain the direction, okay? Versus the throttle, and where the throttle is a slow incremental movement, slowly accelerating, slowly decelerating. The thrust is, it's more of a quick jerk motion. So if I push my thrust forward, you can see I'm slowly moving forward. The longer I push it, the, front, the more I accelerate. The longer I push it, I decelerate. Now the difference is between throttle is thrust also allows you to move your ship sideways. So, so, we, can, so we can see it a little bit better to we'll orient ourselves towards the planet. So thrust forward acts almost like throttle but the moment I release it it actually stops it actually goes back to zero same thing with the reverse throttle now if I use my thrust to the left it's very minimal but you can see I am moving sideways in relation to the planet okay maybe the planet isn't such a good target for this uh, hang on we need something that's smaller so it's more noticeable uh, why don't we try targeting that so you can see okay so I'm gonna use that as a point of location if I start thrusting to the left you can see that it's move the target is moving to my right because I am moving sideways to the left if I go the other way do the exact opposite now there's also a thrust up and a thrust down so if I thrust up I start moving up if I thrust down I start moving down okay now the reason that this is 
important is at least for me when I started playing when I first started playing Elite Dangerous, I saw video uh, I saw videos of uh, pilots commanders being able to land so smoothly into the land onto their uh, landing pad. However, uh, I can't do that. I literally mean I cannot do that uh, at the start. Maybe with enough practice, I'll be able to to actually do it. But until then, uh, I need to rely on my thrusters to help me uh, land to do the precision movements to align myself to the landing to the landing pad. So that's why I think that it's critical for you to be able to bind your thrust into something that you can uh, reach so that when you get close enough to the landing pad that you can land, you can then uh, shift from using your regular controls to just using your thrusters to get you to land properly onto the, onto the pad, right? So you control that. You bind that here in, I already showed it, option, controls, uh, flight thrust. So you ignore the lateral thrust axis. You just focus on the thrust left, thrust right, thrust up, thrust down, thrust forward, thrust backwards. Okay. Now, since these are flight controls, you cannot use the same, uh, you cannot use the same buttons that you use for for your uh, normal flying meaning that if you bind your throttle up and throttle down to your w and s you can't bind your thrust forward uh thrust back to your w and s you have to bind it to to something else okay um the last critical controls setup that i think you must know how to set up would how to how to uh, assign would actually be uh, three things. One, first is you need to be able to assign your weapon deployment button, or rather hard point deployment button, because it's not always weapons that are attached to them. So this allows you to bring out your weapons or your other. Yeah, I'm not supposed to bring out my weapons here, but I, I did it just for a demonstration. To bring out your weapons and your other devices that are tied to your hard points, meaning they have to be deployed before you can use them. And then the other one is your landing gear. Because when you're about to land, you'd like to be able to bring out your landing gear, otherwise you're not going to be able to land. Then after you land, you'd like to retract it so you don't get uh, slowed down by it when you're traveling. And lastly would be the cargo scoop. Uh, the cargo scoop is uh, something that you deploy and you use it to pick up items out that are out in space. And then you, so you can open it and close it. So you need to bind those, particularly because you would want uh, you cannot enter, uh, you, you cannot go to your fr you cannot activate your frame shift drive while any of these three are deployed. So, you know, you want to be able to close your ship up before you enter, so you can enter faster than light travel. So I think it's critical for you to be able to know where these buttons are. Okay, so uh, to be able to bind your uh, landing gear, cargo scoop, your weapon deployment, uh, you, they're located in several uh, areas in the uh, control setup. So first is the deploy hard points is located in the weapons here. Uh, this option firing deploys hard points basically means that if your hard points are not deployed and then you pulled the trigger for your weapon, whatever it is, uh, it will deploy the hard points instead of firing your weapons. And then once it's fully deployed, when you pull the trigger, you'll fire again. You'd still need to find your uh, deploy hard points to a button because then to hide your weapons or to undeploy your hard points, you, you need to push this button. As for the landing gear, I believe that's here in the miscellaneous section, as well as the cargo scoop. So there's the cargo scoop and there's the landing gear. Now, 
like in the uh, reverse thruster, there's a button mode. You can toggle it to keep your landing, your cargo scoop open. You can make it hold so that if you're holding the button, that's the only time your cargo scoop is open. When you let go, it closes. Landing gear is just basically the always on uh, deploy. All right. So those are the critical controls that uh, I believe you should know how to bind. Uh, that would be it until the next video. Uh, next video would actually be me running a uh, mission to get you uh, using these uh, controls. Alright guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.